Hi, I'm Stan Kucher with the Sun Life Financial Chair at the IWK Health Center in Dalhousie University. Today I just want to talk very briefly about uh, some of the exciting new adaptations we're doing with our school mental health literacy resource, the guide. Many of you might be familiar with it. Here's a picture for those who may not be. And this is, of course, as you know, a classroom ready six module resource for teachers. It's also completely online. Everything is web based. Every lesson plan is out laid there for you. All the materials that you need to teach the class are there for you. All the resource materials including PowerPoints and animated videos and links to really good resources are there for you. And you're free to use it. We suggest that you take a training program so that you're comfortable with the materials, but you're still free to use them. One thing that we've been doing is been working in other parts of the world outside of Canada uh, to utilize the resource there as well. And as you know, there is a wealth of Canadian data using prospective cohort studies and randomized control trials that show that this intervention embedded into regular classroom curriculum and meeting provincial standards for educational outcomes uh, works. Uh, and it has significant and substantial improvements in every aspect of mental health literacy that we measure. And uh, we've shown that in randomized control trials and it's maintained over time. These improvements are maintained over time as shown in prospective uh, cohort studies. The use of this material in other countries, in other locations outside of Canada, is now uh, emerging. So we have done some fascinating work with colleagues in Portugal who have taken the material, worked with us to adapt it, and are successfully applying it in schools in Portugal. We have done some excellent work with colleagues from the University of Toronto who are working in Nicaragua and who with the University of Lyon in Nicaragua have taken the materials, adapted them, translated them into Spanish. In Portugal it was translated into Portuguese and are applying them with excellent results shown in controlled studies. We have actually even taken the materials and adapted them in Malawi, Africa and in Tanzania, Africa and have created an African guide version. And the data that we're getting from the studies in Malawi and Tanzania is very positive and very similar to the data we're getting elsewhere in the world. And now we're starting to work in the United States with the group in Washington State who's taken great leadership in that. And with their assistance we've adapted the material for use in Washington State, particularly focusing on many of the references and resources that are designed specifically for communities uh, in Washington State. So what we're finding is that Wherever we do the work, or wherever we do the studies, we're getting very similar results, very positive. And we're building strength, we're building sustainable capacity, and we're doing it using usual and natural pedagogical techniques and enhancing the systems in which the material is being applied. What this tells me is that we may have something here that has generalizability. It's not just specific to one place or one location or one culture. And they went properly adapted and properly modified. They could be used pretty well anywhere. We're always open to working with partners, to learning more from partners, to working with partners to help improve the mental health literacy of teachers and students. If you're interested in working with us on this, by all means, just get in touch with us. Thanks for listening. I'm Stan Kreacher, the Sun Life Financial Chair and Adolescent Mental Health.